So I'm just going to get all comfy and cozy. We are going to do a book review today. I've been promising you guys this video for months. And for those of you who follow me on my social media platforms, my other social media platforms, you know that I have raved about this particular book for years, to be completely honest. The Clinician's Guide to Laboratory Medicine pocket. Um, this book was written by Dr. Desai, Samir Desai, and I am in love. I mean, in love. You guys hear me or see me um, kind of showing this on my Instagram and showing it when I'm at work because I truly use this book every day. If I happen to encounter labs that I just want a little direction. I want a little assurance uh, that I am following up on these labs appropriately and ordering um, additional tests that are appropriate um, and just doing appropriate follow-up for things that I feel uncomfortable about. This is your guy. This is my guy. <laughs> this has been a great find for me. This is a gem, guys. If you do not own this book, you should. Over the years, I have just collected and I've gotten all of the editions of the Clinician's Guide to Laboratory Medicine. For those of you who have followed my YouTube channel for a few years, you probably remember this guy, um, the smaller one. Looking at the updated version versus the smaller one, you can see there is totally, um, you can see there is a difference in size, obviously. For So for those of you who thought this book was a little small and that the writing was kind of small, um, I, you know, I didn't have a problem with how small it was. You could slip it right into your pocket, but I, I am loving the bigger size. For those of you who found the previous book a bit small, then this is your guy. <laughs> what has changed in this book? This book was published in 2020, so I have been using it since then. Um, I'm just gonna kind of read uh, the back for a quick breakdown on what is new for the book. I don't wanna miss anything, so let's just go through that really quick. Basically, well, before we start, let me just tell you what I personally love about the Clinician's Guide to Laboratory Medicine. I love that it takes your hand and you just go step by step on interpretation of labs and what you should do next. The algorithms are on point. I really love algorithms. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I love books. I love algorithms. Yes, I have apps, but I am a book person. I like to have a, the physical book in my hand. I like to highlight, obviously. I like to turn the pages, which may sound weird to some people, but for those of you who like to read, there's just some satisfying thing about turning pages. I don't know. Um, so I just love the step-by-step -step approach, which is the hallmark. That's, you know, I think that is the specialty of Dr. Desai, having the ability to really break things down. If you are a new nurse practitioner, you need this. You need to be able to have things broken down so that you can digest it, so that you can remember it, so that you can understand it. Let's hit on the high points of why this book or what has changed with the updated version. So uh, step one, step two, step three, from abnormal lab test to diagnosis. With lab test results impacting 60 to 70% of all critical patient care decisions, clinicians must not only choose the right test, they must also evaluate lab data in the context of the patient's clinical presentation. 
For over 20 years, the Clinician's Guide to Laboratory Medicine Pocket has provided clinicians with the strategies needed to interpret complex lab data in a sequential, cost-effective, and evidence-based manner. This thoroughly revised new edition is a must-have true resource that was developed to help you answer lab questions in a flash. I love that. And it's so true. When you use this book, you are able to answer lab questions in a flash. And sometimes while I am reviewing labs, I may come upon a lab and I'm just like, okay, I'm going to do this, this, and this. And then I might feel a little insecure and I'm like, oh, let me get my lab, um, my lab book so I can just make sure that I didn't miss anything as far as, you know, other labs that I might need to order to help me with the diagnosis that I'm looking for for this patient. So to give you guys a scenario, I may be doing lab review and um, on my patients, you know, you get your labs back and you go through them and you call the patient. So I may be going through my labs and I may come upon a lab or an abnormal lab that I'm kind of uncomfortable with. So what I usually do is go ahead and put in the things that I want to follow up on and maybe additional labs that I need that would help me come to a diagnosis. And then most of the time, especially if I am unfamiliar or if I'm not real comfortable with this abnormal lab, I pull out my handy dandy clinician's guide to laboratory medicine and I'll go through the algorithms or I will read all about that lab, that abnormal lab, um, the differentials, what you could possibly expect if this lab is increased or decreased um, and then go through the algorithm. And usually I find something like oh yeah, I do want to order this because that'll help me to determine if this is happening because the patient has this illness. So the book is an absolute godsend. I'm so excited about having it. I'm so happy that Dr. Desai wrote it. I love it so much. Um, inside this new edition, there is a unique step-by-step -step approach to lab test interpretation, um, and that has been updated to reflect the latest advances in laboratory medicine. There are completely redesigned algorithms to allow quick access to essential information needed at the point of care. So I like that, that the algorithms have been redesigned. And just to give you guys a little idea of how the algorithms look, I really like that they're larger. Even though, again, the smaller book did not bother me at all, I loved it. Um, maybe let's go with anemia. So this is anemia and it just takes you by the hand and goes through um, the approach to a patient with anemia. Okay, hope you guys could see that. And in addition to the algorithm, keep in mind that you also have the step-by-step -step approach. So the next page goes into the step-by-step -step approach for a patient with anemia. Something new that has been added in this book, uh, there are new patient safety tip boxes to prevent errors in test ordering, interpretation, and patient management. There are hundreds of user-friendly tables and boxes with high-value content. And I have even kind of highlighted when I was here looking at gastroenterology and I was looking at an increase in serum bilirubin, I highlighted some things that were of importance to me. And I also highlighted the patient safety tip box because I liked, I liked what it pointed out and it was very helpful for me. 
So yeah, I highlighted the little box that tells you, let's see, <laughs> my camera. Um, I highlighted the little box that tells you the initial lab testing you would order for a patient with an elevated bilirubin level. This book pretty much covers everything. <laughs> so just to give you a breakdown, uh, section one covers electrolytes and acid base. Section two covers hematology. Section three covers nephrology. Section four, neurology. Section five, endocrinology. Section six, gastroenterology. Section seven, pulmonology. Section eight, cardiology. Section nine, rheumatology. What else? Um, there are evidence-based recommendations to optimize the delivery of high quality care. There are also cost-effective approaches that incorporate the latest guidelines, including choosing wisely. So this book is relevant to all healthcare professionals, physicians, students, physician assistants, nurse practitioners, and pharmacists. This guide has all the tools necessary to tackle the challenges of lab test interpretation. So I have personally thanked Dr. Desai for creating this book. That's how much I love it. It's literally my favorite lab test interpretation book. Um, and you know, this video is not sponsored. This video is me just telling you guys as a friend what works for me and what's helped me. I'm doing this on my own time and and that's it, you know. I literally put my stamp of approval on this book. Um, I got so many DMs from you guys on um, Instagram when I started posting about my book. Uh, just telling me how much you loved it and how much it's helped. And um, guys, post below in the comments if you have the book or if you have the older edition and if it's helpful for you uh, because I think that would be encouragement for new nurse practitioners to invest in this tool or in this resource. I have added this book to my Amazon storefront. I just have like a list of, of the books that I love, like resources that I use on my Amazon page, but you could just go to Amazon and type in Clinician's Guide to Laboratory Medicine to purchase this book. You know, whatever's best and easiest for you guys. I hope that this short little video helped you guys. I hope you do yourself a favor and get this book because it is worth every penny. Thank you for tuning in today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you.